This is tutorial 13, how to set up a single line font for laser engraving. For today's example, we're going to be creating the file to work with, so we're going to want to set our plate size. So we'll set our origin selection to upper left, we'll set our orientation to landscape, and then we'll set our width and height to, let's go with 7 inches respectively, and then we can click OK. So for this example, we're going to want to create some text. So we'll go to our text tools and select frame text compose. Um, we're using a single line font. So today I'm using Dino. I would recommend you use the same font or one that's similar. Our font height and everything else looks OK. So we can proceed to enter our text. So we're going to enter CAD link. And then we're going to want to click outside the plate. And we're going to want to go down here and assign the text an invisible fill. And with the text selected, we're going to want to go over to our Stroke and Fill tools and select Line Style. And we're going to want to assign a hairline to our text, and we're going to use the color red. And after that, we can click outside the plate, and our file is now ready to output to the laser. So with the text selected, we'll want to go to File and select Print. And we're going to want to set the preferences for Venus Laser today, so we'll click on Preferences. And we're just going to want to make sure that plate area and print is shown on screen are selected. And after having done that, we can click on Printer. And now we're going to want to go to the Venus Setup, so we'll click on Setup. Um, we're going to want to make sure that the mode setting is set to Manual Color Fill. And we'll go to Pen, and because the only color we're using today is red, um, we're just going to have to set our red settings. So for this example, let's just use 50 and 50. And you're going to want to make sure that raster is deselected and vector is selected. And with that set, you can go ahead and click OK. Uh, you'll just want to double check that the print preview box is checked and you can go ahead and click OK which takes us to the print preview window and that is how our file will look when it is output to the laser and that brings us to the end of this tutorial